Hi folks, our friendly wallaby ate all my olive tree, my young olive tree, and trimmed off all the rosemary plants around it. So I wasn't too happy this morning. I've taken one of my waste baskets and cut a hole in the bottom and popped it over. Now, I don't know if this poor olive tree will rejuvenate, but I'm hoping so. I'm not so happy with the wallaby at the moment, I have to say. Luckily enough, he, he or she doesn't like lavender, at least so far, as is left the lavender, which is flowering, and it's surrounding a little bay tree. So, so far, so good that he's left those alone, but I noticed also, which I expected, they ate the lovely flowers of my calendula. There were some lovely flower heads there, and he's eaten all of that, which I'm not too impressed with at all, but I expected that. But it is very difficult trying to grow things without being fenced off here. Again, there's my poor olive tree which is just a stick now, so we'll just see if that saves it. And also here, which I showed you before, this was the little bed of seedlings that I tried to protect. And would you believe, where is it now, where do I see it? Here we go, there is wallaby poo. They actually jumped up, sat there, and obviously have had a snack and left their calling card. Honestly, so difficult to grow anything here. The only thing is, at least my pollinator patch has the, is fenced, and only the birds will take their pick, but I'm not impressed at the moment. And they've got all these nasturtiums, which they tend to trim up round the end, and I'm more than happy for them to eat them. But as you can see, right around the edge, they come along and eat all the flowers off the ends, which I thought that would have kept them happy without touching anything else, but no. As I say, all around the edge here, they've eaten the nasturtiums, which as I said, I don't mind at all but I was hoping that that would have been enough for them. But no, they have to have a snack everywhere else. So, not too impressed today. Sorry, I'm just wandering around here. I should be editing this, but I'm not going to. That's the bed that I'm trying to grow snapdragons and Dusty Miller, and I think I've got a few elephant garlic coming up. And I put aquilegia, I was, as I said, I tried to stop the the critters going up, but uh, I suppose it's helping to a point. But see, they've eaten, if you can see here, I've got parsley all around the edge, and they've eaten all the tops of that. You see, you can see they've eaten all of that, which again, I can live without if I have to, but... Uh, I'm so disappointed about the olive tree and the rosemary, but what can you do? That's the price of wildlife in the garden. You just got to hope there's enough that will survive. And uh, But look, they've been at all this calendula. I've got some daffodils and things coming up here, but it's a bit early for them to flower yet. And I'm not sure, I don't even know what, uh, which ones they are, if they're early flowering or late flowering. And again, there's my lavender and I've put a couple of little daffodil bulbs in there. But poor old olive tree. So upset about that, but we'll see maybe the spring growth it'll come back and the rosemary was looking lovely it was very similar to the 
growth of the lavender here, but decided to have a nice snack.